Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Ruby. How are you? I'm very great. Thank you. Okay, so today is Saturday, right? Yes. Yeah, so you don't have any work to do? No. Yeah. Oh, Saturday? Yes, I have. Oh, what will you do on Saturday? <laughs> today is Saturday. Uh, I, I do homework. Ah, you do homework, yes. But then, by the way, yes. how's COVID in Vietnam? Yes. COVID. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, COVID, coronavirus. The virus. Oh, it's bad. Very very bad <laughs> okay it's very bad also here in the philippines uh yeah in the philippines also uh we are nearly having our lockdown lockdown so probably next week we cannot go around we'll just stay at home go to work like that yes yes okay so here okay now ruby this is your homework yes okay this is your last homework by the way wait for a while okay i will check your homework this is okay homework uh, the new kitchen is available to use okay that's correct very good okay the new kitchen is available to use Correct. Okay, correct. Very good, Ruby. Okay. I can't go windsurfing. Okay, correct. I cannot, I did not see. I never have time to go to the fun fair. Okay, correct. Always remember, don't forget the period. This is very important. Okay, period. I never have time to go to the fun fair. Okay, what's this? It's wrong? Yes. <laughs> This corridor is so long. Oh, it's okay. It's correct. That dog is faster by a man. Okay, what do you mean by this? That dog. The go the dog uh go through the man. Ah, okay. So it means if you will do like this, you will say the dog passed by a man. Okay, passed, not passer by. Okay, it's passed by a man. Okay. You will say the dog passed by a man. Okay. Or you will say yeah. dog, you do not put S here. Okay, this one. The dog passed by a man. Okay. So, or you can say if you use the passerby, you will say here there is a passerby. Here, the man's house. Oh, you can see that one. There is a passerby near the man's house. Okay. There is a passerby near the man's house. You can see that one. But when you yeah. see the dog or that dog is that dog passed by a man. Oh, you can see that one. But when you talk about passerby because we are talking here about Passerby, okay. Yeah. Okay. Talking about passerby, of course, you will say there is a passerby. We don't know who is that passerby. It could be a dog or it could be a man. <laughs> we don't know yeah. who is that passerby. A man, a, a gentleman, a lady, or an old man, which is passerby near the man's house. Okay, so we don't yeah. know exactly. Okay. So anyway, let's move here. To the next. Okay, another one. Uh, everyone are attention to that man. What do you mean by this? Yeah. Everyone, what do you mean by this? Number six. So, I mean, that said, if uh, there is a man who are doing something that uh, attracted from everyone, so everyone is looking at him. Ah, so it means. 
you look everyone pays attention to that man you will say this everyone okay you can use the word pays okay that one okay it means okay everyone pays attention to that man okay so it means okay so it means everyone look at that man do you understand yes. so when i say yes. ruby pays attention or the uh, the handsome guy pays attention to ruby like that so it means yes. the handsome guy keeps on looking at you keeps on looking to ruby you understand wow <laughs> and handsome guy <laughs> okay ruby by the way do you have crush no or or someone no like way no 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 no, or no someone way one likes you not you someone no. likes you oh you're beautiful. no one like me and no and i don't like no one ah okay so i no one likes you you're pretty okay i tell you one thing just okay, okay, okay. every English single every single every single class yes. every day i always meet a couple and they always there in front of our, my class and i'm very sick of it oh and then did they everyone say in my class don't look like it so we don't need girls now we are fa <laughs> okay but is there a single guy or a single okay yeah a guy like said like who said that oh uh it seems that i like ruby or ruby is beautiful like that is there someone who said that to you someone says it is there someone mm. in your class or in the other classroom no way no ah. way <laughs> Be, no one gonna do that no yeah, one. Be, yeah because you're very young how old are you 14 yeah 14 but someday oh four years from now remember teacher four years from now you will be getting matured you will grow up you will become a fine lady you will become responsible that day four years from now so probably so that's probably the time that someone will really like you and you cannot say no for that but no matter how they likes you just keep on your mind teacher and said i'm still young i need to study 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 okay okay based okay. on studying yes do not have yeah. the boyfriend or the girlfriend you're too young okay yeah okay oh it's and now we don't we there are no couple now because uh that boy is older than us so he come to the he go to the high school ah okay yes he's older yes. than you how old is he yeah how old is he the boy uh he older than us two years old ah okay so probably he's 16. yes okay so but in time when time comes to be we don't know that maybe a lot of guys will have a crush on you well court you will say ruby i like you like that okay but you cannot let them say no let them say what they want the only important thing you have to put in mind i'm still young i need to study first that's very important because having crush liking someone it's normal normal ruby it's normal for a teenager like yes. this yes yes okay so always just remember study first study first that's very yes. important okay now let's go back to the lesson everyone pays attention to that man so it means everyone pays attention it means give attention to that man yes yes that one so you understand this number six okay number five i'm really like watching sculpture what is this okay from i will close the door first okay i really like watching the sculpture what is this ruby what do you mean by this one I really like watching the sculpture. 
Yes, I remember. Oh, ah, yes. Okay. I really like somebody is making cupcakes because that look very interesting. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I understand. Okay. So, yeah. True. Okay. So I'm really like watching the sculptures. It means you are you like re, you really like to watch the sculpture you really like yes. to watch that sculpture yeah i understand okay very good ruby good thing yeah. okay now here i never have time to go to okay this is correct okay so at least every now and then when teacher asks you to make sentence just try your best okay uh teacher will yeah. teacher Anne will not say ruby it's wrong so as long as you make the sentence, teacher will be happy because you are trying your best to do this. That's quite one important lesson. You have to do it. You try your best. That's okay for teacher. Okay? Okay, yes. Ruby? Yes. Okay. So for now, Ruby, let's move here. Let's go to the lesson. In Philippines, Ruby, now it's very hot. As in hot. Yes. Yes. How about in Vietnam? No, well, my place, yes, is normal. It's normal. It's very normal here. Not cold, not hot, not really, no wow. sun. <laughs> everything is normal. In short, it's everything very is normal. Very normal. Oh, your hair is long. Yes. Yeah, I how just long have is it? How long is it? Just like this? Wow, it's very long. It's, uh, wow. I like your hair. It's so straight, black, and long. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I just had a shower with my hair yesterday. And then? <laughs> and then this is like this. Yeah, I know. It's, your hair is straight and long. I like your hair, it's straight and long. Okay, so now let's move to 1.2 listening test. Okay, 1.2 listening test. So here. Before that, we have, sorry, Ruby, we have here some words. Okay, we have the hammer, very simple, paintbrush, earrings, tomato, and cycle. Okay, so let's have, oh, by the way, are we done with this or not yet? We are done all of it. Ah, okay, okay. So I will have to move to the next, okay? Okay, I have here. Okay, so let's move here. 
So, 1.3. Okay. So, I have here some of the vocabulary. First, I have here the sleeve. Oh, you know already what is sleeve. Okay. Wait. Sorry. You know already what is sleeve? Yeah, this one. Sleeve. Drummer. Okay. Drummer. Get the rest. The one who do the guitar. See sick. See sick. It's adjective when you go when you travel by sea and it seems that you want to vomit like that because you have seasick. You can uh, you you will not be feeling well because you have a seasick. Change. Okay, you know this. I want to change. Skateboarding. Oh, do you like skateboarding? Then do you like skateboarding? No. Do you know how to? Okay. But no. skate, skateboarding ruby is dangerous. Okay. Next is your purse. You have your purse always. I know if you want to put something uh, like the coins, you have the purse. Yes. Okay. So everyone does have the purse. Okay. Next one here. Let's move on. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. Which t-shirt does the boy decide to buy? I'd like to buy a black t-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the black ones have long sleeves. But we've got short sleeves in the lighter colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? Uh, it must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, OK, I'll take one of the short-sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Now listen again. I'd like to buy a black T-shirt with short sleeves, please. Large size. I'm afraid the black ones have long sleeves, but we've got short sleeves in the lighter colours. Do you want a round neck or a V-neck? Uh, it must be round neck. Uh, let me think. Um, OK, I'll take one of the short sleeved ones. The colour's not so important, really. Two. Who will be on the stage next? And that was Shark, with Joe on piano and Rich on guitar. Lots of music to come, including The Three Biscuits, with songs from their new CD. But first, here are Subway. You all know the drummer and guitarist, but singing here with them for the first time is Sarah Ireland, the drummer's sister. Please give her a big welcome. Now listen again. And that was Shark, with Joe on piano and Rich on guitar. Lots of music to come, including The Three Biscuits, with songs from their new CD. But first, here are Subway. You all know the drummer and guitarist, but singing here with them for the first time is Sarah Ireland, the drummer's sister. Please give her a big welcome. Three. What time will the pie be ready? What time is it, Mum? Do you think the apple pie will be ready yet? It's 4.35. And the pie went into the oven at quarter past four? That's right. You could check it at five and turn the heat down a bit, but don't take it out until 20 past. That's 45 minutes to go. OK. I'm hungry already. Now listen again. What time is it, Mum? Do you think the apple pie will be ready yet? It's 4.35. And the pie went into the oven at quarter past four. That's right. You could check it at five and turn the heat down a bit, but don't take it out until 20 past. That's 45 minutes to go. OK. I'm hungry already.
Four. Which photo does the girl dislike? I've got the photos back. Look, this one of us on the beach is just brilliant. Yes, you must get a copy for me to put in my photo album. It was a great day, but that other one's good too. I don't know why you think so. That dress I'm wearing looks awful. I only bought it because it was half price. The one of us on the boat isn't bad. Look. Hmm. Apart from the fact that we look seasick. Now listen again. I've got the photos back. Look, this one of us on the beach is just brilliant. Yes, you must get a copy for me to put in my photo album. It was a great day, but that other one's good too. I don't know why you think so. That dress I'm wearing looks awful. I only bought it because it was half price. The one of us on the boat isn't bad. Look. Hmm. Apart from the fact that we look seasick. Five. What should the students take on the school trip? Now you won't need any money for the bus or your entrance ticket to the museum tomorrow because that's already paid for. But bring some change for when you get thirsty and want to buy a drink. The only food or drink allowed on the bus is fruit. Bring some with you because it's quite a long trip and you'll get hungry. And you'll need to bring all your coloured pencils for the work I'm going to ask you to do there. Now listen again. Now you won't need any money for the bus or your entrance ticket to the museum tomorrow because that's already paid for. But bring some change for when you get thirsty and want to buy a drink. The only food or drink allowed on the bus is fruit. Bring some with you because it's quite a long trip and you'll get hungry. And you'll need to bring all your coloured pencils for the work I'm going to ask you to do there. Six. Where do the boys decide to go? So, we've got three hours. Shall we go skateboarding in the park? What do you think? Well, there's the latest space film, which is meant to be good. Or there's a new computer game shop, which has just opened. Oh, well, I haven't got enough money to buy a new game anyway. Let's go and watch the film. OK. We can go skateboarding any time. Now listen again. So, we've got three hours. Shall we go skateboarding in the park? What do you think? Well, there's the latest space film, which is meant to be good. Or there's a new computer game shop, which has just opened. Oh, well, I haven't got enough money to buy a new game anyway. Let's go and watch the film. OK. We can go skateboarding any time. Seven. What has the girl lost? Can I help you? You look worried. Is everything all right? Well, I was in the playground about ten minutes ago with my friends and I got a call on my mobile phone. I had to get a pen out of my bag to write something down and I think my purse fell out. I can't find it now. Do you know if anyone has handed it in? You know you're not supposed to bring phones to school. Mm. Anyway, let me go and check. What colour is it? Now listen again. Can I help you? You look worried. Is everything all right? Well, I was in the playground about ten minutes ago with my friends and I got a call on my mobile phone. I had to get a pen out of my bag to write something down, and I think my purse fell out. I can't find it now. Do you know if anyone has handed it in? You know you're not supposed to bring phones to school. Mm. Anyway, let me go and check. What colour is it? That is the end of part one. Our pair will be number one.
Okay, ready to answer? You have your answer already? Ready. Okay, ready. which t-shirt does the boy decide that? Okay, which t-shirt does, does the boy decided to buy? Uh, what is your answer? My answer is the A. Letter A, teacher. It's a white one. Okay. Who will be on the stage next? Letter C, teacher. Letter C. Okay, wow. And what time will the pie be ready? Uh, I think I see, teacher. Okay, it's letter C. And number four, letter B is your correct answer? Yes. Wow, correct. Wait for a while. Okay. The question is, which photo does the girl dislike? It's letter B. What should a student take on the school trip? School mm. trip is B. Letter B. 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 A banana? Oh, it's letter C. Okay, what's that? A coins? I don't know what's that. A coins, a banana, and a crayon? I don't know what, what is that circle one. Okay, how about six? Is that your answer? Where did the boys decided to go? Where did boys decide to go? Yeah, go it's letter to the A. Cinema. That's your answer? That's your answer? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What has the girl lost? The phone, B. the purse, or the pen? Yes, the B. B is your answer. Wow. Correct. Very good, Ruby. Next one. Okay. So next one here, what have you seen? This is water wind, surfing. Wind, wind surfing. Ah, oh, the wind surfing. Okay. So you will hear a radio interview with a tonnage surfer called Abby Tolling. For each question, choose the correct answer A, B, and C. Okay. We have here the word surfer. Okay. I'll wait for a while. Okay. Surfer, you know the word. The surfer is the person who do the surfing. This is the surfer. Mm. It's a person. Standard. Mm. It's a noun. Standard. It's a noun. Surfboard. Yeah. Surfboard. We know this. Enormous. Yes. It's not enormous. It's enormous. Correct. Enormous. Okay, I will correct this one. It's enormous. It means big. Enormous, it means big. Enormous. Wave. Wave. So that's it. Ankle. Okay, you know where is your ankle? It's here. It's within your feet. It's the ankle. Next. Yes. Equipment. Equipment. You know this, the word equipment? Yes. Okay. So very good, Ruby. So let's move to the next. Okay. Okay. So here, look at this. I will give you some of the uh, questions about Abby Fielding. Please listen. Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a radio interview with a teenage surfer called Abby Fielding. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two.
Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Today, I'm talking to teenage surfer Abby Fielding. Abby, welcome. Tell us about how you started surfing. Well, my family have always loved going to our local beach, and my dad became keen on surfing. He wasn't very good, but he really wanted to show me how to do it. My mum offered to buy me a board. I still wasn't keen, but then I started watching surfing competitions near home, and when I saw the standard of the surfers, I just felt I could do better. Very confident. How easy was it to get started? Well, it's free to practice once you've got the equipment. I went to the local surfing school for a bit too. But it can cost quite a lot to buy what you need. I was lent some boards before I bought one to see which type I liked best. <laughs> that was useful. So do you go surfing all year round now? Yes, even in winter when it's cold. The sea is actually warmer than the land. I just wear the same wetsuit as I do in the summer, although sometimes I do add gloves. You'd be surprised how many people are out there surfing with me. And your biggest achievement was surfing an enormous wave. Ah, oh, yeah. That kind of wave only comes along a couple of times a year. I borrowed a large board, as mine wasn't big enough, and I was nervous. The waves were a lot bigger than they look from the beach. People say it hurts if you fall off in those conditions, but I didn't have time to think about that. So, any advice for other teenagers taking up surfing? Well, you're never too young to start. Not on big waves, of course, in case you have to swim back to the beach. But in many places, you need to know how to surf whatever the waves are like, good and bad. And surfing schools are okay, but watching other surfers is just as useful, and practicing yourself, of course. So, you're still young. What next? Well, I'm going to miss the next big competition, as I've injured my ankle. But my future's definitely in surfing, so I need to investigate what opportunities there are. There's a course in surfing science you can do at the university here, but I'm not sure that's the right path for me at the moment. Well, thank you, Abby. Now listen again. Today, I'm talking to teenage surfer Abby Fielding. Abby, welcome. Tell us about how you started surfing. Well, my family have always loved going to our local beach, and my dad became keen on surfing. He wasn't very good, but he really wanted to show me how to do it. My mum offered to buy me a board. I still wasn't keen, but then I started watching surfing competitions near home, and when I saw the standard of the surfers, I just felt I could do better. Very confident. How easy was it to get started? Well, it's free to practice once you've got the equipment. I went to the local surfing school for a bit too. But it can cost quite a lot to buy what you need. I was lent some boards before I bought one to see which type I liked best. <laughs> that was useful. So do you go surfing all year round now? Yes, even in winter when it's cold. The sea is actually warmer than the land. I just wear the same wetsuit as I do in the summer, although sometimes I do add gloves. You'd be surprised how many people are out there surfing with me. And your biggest achievement was surfing an enormous wave. Ah, oh, yeah. That kind of wave only comes along a couple of times a year. I borrowed a large board, as mine wasn't big enough, and I was nervous. The waves were a lot bigger than they look from the beach. People say it hurts if you fall off in those conditions, but I didn't have time to think about that. So, any advice for other teenagers taking up surfing? Well, you're never too young to start. Not on big waves, of course, in case you have to swim back to the beach. But in many places, you need to know how to surf whatever the waves are like, good and bad. And surfing schools are okay, but watching other surfers is just as useful, and practicing yourself, of course. So, you're still young. What next? 
Well, I'm going to miss the next big competition as I've injured my ankle. But my future's definitely in surfing. So I need to investigate what opportunities there are. There's a course in surfing science you can do at the university here, but I'm not sure that's the right path for me at the moment. Well, thank you, Abby. That is the end of part two. Okay. Do you have the answer, Ruby? Clear? You understand well? Uh, no. Okay, one more. So, it is hard. Okay, one more. One more, you want to no. listen one more? No, that's not now. Nah, because okay, if I listen again, it's a waste of time. Okay, so here, next number eight. Okay, Abby first decided to go surfing when what? When her mother gave her money for her super. Okay, when the mother gave her gave her a money for a surfboard. Let us see. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, when she saw some local competitions. Oh. Number nine, it's okay. It's quite hard, very fast. What did Abby discover when she started surfing? Uh, what did she discover when she started surfing? It was um maybe is a uh, a letter a she's uh she discovered that her local shopping school was expensive okay she discovered that it was good to try different surfboards yes it is good to try to different surfboard at least you can or you can learn or you can maintain Ten. what does abby say about surfing the winter what does abby say about surfing the winter the sea is warm enough where okay. she lives okay so what does abby say about surfing in the winter okay the sea is warm enough where she lives. Correct. Okay. So, of course, when it is winter, of course, the sea is quite warm. Okay. Number 11. How did Abby feel about surfing the enormous wave? How did Abby feel about surfing the enormous wave? Uh, no, I don't know this one. Okay, what do you think? Does he feel disappointed? Enormous, it's big. How did Abby feel about surfing the enormous, uh, enormous wave? It's big wave. Disappointed she didn't have the right board? Worried at first by the size of the wave? Or scared about falling off her board? Mm, a. Letter A. Okay, let's see. Maybe. Oh, it's letter B. Okay, I give the answer already. Letter B. And in here, what advice does Abby give to teenagers interested in surfing? Uh... C. Maybe C. Okay, it's letter C, teacher. Okay, very good. Learn to surf in different conditions. Okay, for a while. Next. Okay. What does Abby want to do next? What does Abby want to do next? Letter B, teacher. Letter B Sorry. again. Letter B again, teacher. Oh, it's letter A. Find out about surfing as a career. Okay, so probably because she keeps or he keeps on doing surfing activity, he wants to do it as career. He will be probably building a shop 
for surfing board or surfing equipment like that or she he will be probably training a lot of people a lot of teenagers kids to do the surfing to do the surfing okay so let's move to the next okay you will hear a boy called caspar who is part of the circus family talking about his life do you know what is circus you know what, what is circus circus no. Yeah, circus. Yes, you know what is yes. circus? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So let us have this is a circus. Okay. Now let us listen about this one. We have here the words. We have balance, balance, costume, ringmaster, and march. Balance. Okay, balancing. Circus needs to have balancing. Costume, their costume. The ringmaster, the one who takes. Okay, let's start the circus. That's the ringmaster. And march. Okay, march. One, two, that. Next one. Please try to listen. Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear a boy called Casper, who is part of a circus family, talking about his life. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. My name is Casper, and I'm the youngest child in a circus family. My parents and brother and sister are all performers. My mother wears wonderful costumes and dances across a rope about 15 metres above the ground. Sometimes she plays a violin at the same time. Incredible. My brother is ten years older than me, and my sister's sixteen. They're part of an act where up to twenty people balance on a motorbike and ride round the ring. The performers stand on each other's shoulders, with my sister at the top. My dad's the ringmaster, or the boss of the circus. He's good at his job because he's tall and has a loud voice. He introduces the performers and makes sure the acts start and finish on time. I'm not allowed to perform until I'm 15, but I march beside my dad ahead of the band at the beginning of the show and lead everyone out at the end. I have some great costumes and I love being in the ring. I can't wait to start training to be a performer. We don't have horses or dogs. In fact, the only animal in the circus is a rabbit, who doesn't do much, but is always the star of the show. The children love him. The performers have a lot of other jobs to do, we have to clean out the circus tent between each show, make the costumes, and repair the equipment. I check the audience tickets and sell ice cream at half-time. We only work for eight months during good weather, and we travel around from place to place. It's a great life. Now listen again. My name is Casper, and I'm the youngest child in a circus family. My parents and brother and sister are all performers. My mother wears wonderful costumes and dances across a rope about 15 metres above the ground. Sometimes she plays a violin at the same time. Incredible! My brother is ten years older than me, and my sister's sixteen. 
They're part of an act where up to twenty people balance on a motorbike and ride round the ring. The performers stand on each other's shoulders, with my sister at the top. My dad's the ringmaster or the boss of the circus. He's good at his job because he's tall and has a loud voice. He introduces the performers and makes sure the acts start and finish on time. I'm not allowed to perform until I'm fifteen, but I march beside my dad ahead of the band at the beginning of the show and lead everyone out at the end. I have some great costumes, and I love being in the ring. I can't wait to start training to be a performer. We don't have horses or dogs. In fact, the only animal in the circus is a rabbit, who doesn't do much, but is always the star of the show. The children love him. The performers have a lot of other jobs to do. We have to clean out the circus tent between each show, make the costumes, and repair the equipment. I check the audience tickets. And sell ice cream at half time. We only work for eight months during good weather, and we travel around from place to place. It's a great life. Okay. That is the end of part three. So this is okay. about Caspar and the circus family. Caspar mother dances across blank in the circus. What is the answer for him? Is yes, it's a group. group. Okay, it's I hear a group. It. Yeah, group. Yeah, that's first brother is in act where as many as blank people balance on a motorbike. 20. There are 20 people. Okay, because first dad is good circus boss because he is blank. And a strong voice. Her, her is a tall. Okay, he is tall. He is tall and has a strong bo voice. Casper starts the show by marching in front of the blunt. What is the answer, 17? No, I don't know. <laughs> That's no one. Okay, marching in front of the band okay there are no animals in the show except a blank a rabbit a, a rabbit. rabbit yes okay one of caspar's job is selling blank what is it selling ice cream selling ice cream okay very good okay so everything is until there. We don't have enough time, Ruby. We will continue this. If you have time tomorrow, we can have it tomorrow. Are you free tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you will have it tomorrow at 9.30. Okay? Okay? What time? What time? 9.30. 9. 9.30. Yes. 9.30. Okay? Okay. Yes. I will see you tomorrow at 9.30 for our makeup class. Bye, Ruby girl. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.